Hello everyone and welcome back to Scott's Honest Reviews. So today we are going to be reviewing this Brita filter. Now if you take a look over here, we actually already have a Brita filter, but this one doesn't work anymore and this one is very old. So since I've already used one of these, I have an even better opinion on the system. Now this is the very cheap filter system. Um, I'll put a link in the video description where you can get this number one brand in water filtration removes 99% of lead easy setup one click filter replacement um, I will admit it is very easy to do everything so to set it up it's very easy um, now this is not going to remove every single thing from your water so you need to keep that in mind these filters are just supposed to help filter your tap water. You get a nice manual in here. So for this kit, they supply the system and a filter. Now, a couple things to know. On our Brita filter, there is a green light and I believe it flashes red. I, it flashes red, if I'm correct when you need to replace the filter so right here would be the light so this is the system itself it's very simple this is where you get your tap water to drink or your filtered water and then here is where your regular tap water comes out you have a couple modes that you can turn this by turning this you have the Brita so by pressing this over it will take you to the Brita and then you have the drinking water. And then you got two other settings that we'll show you. Let's go ahead and just twist the old one off here. Just like that. So what I'm gonna do now is take like a more um, grit towel or anything that you can and just kind of Lightly have the water running and just brush over what you just took off just to make sure there's any buildup. We want to get that off. Okay. Now, once we did that, and it's a good idea to do that as well if it's your first time. So, this is very simple. For us, we don't need any adapters, we don't need anything. It's just simply plug and use. So what you want to do is you want to kind of line it up, go back and forth a little bit here. It might take a little bit to get used to. Once you get it on, it will free the easy turn. So you'll be easily be able to turn it. So if it's hard, if you're trying to turn it and it's really hard right away, then it's on wrong. So once you have it on and you turn it and you turn it, what I like doing is holding here, hold it with your one finger and then take your other hand and kind of twist it and then pull, apply pressure on the actual washer and then just pull the actual system back and then twist it pull the actual system back while you're holding the washer with one hand and this will allow you to get it really tight keep repeating this process until it gets pretty hard and once it gets really hard then you know okay enough's enough that's hard enough so we now know that's really tight that's good to go we're not going to have any issues we we then hold the washer Turn the Brita how we want it, which you probably want it facing outward. And as you see, this is one mode, two modes, so one, two. <laughs> Oh my, and as you saw, that's where the water filter should be, and it kind of sprayed everywhere. But as you can see, this is where the filter would be. So, 
I think we got the camera lens a little wet. Just simply place it, twist it, pop it into place. Once it pops into place, you see the green light. That means it's good to go, it's on, it's installed, and it's ready to be used. And now make sure you use cold water. Never use hot water with your Brita. Well, I mean, never use hot water for drinking because that can ruin the filter. You can use hot water, obviously, for your regular mode, but for drinking, don't have it on hot. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it filter through for a little while. I'm gonna let the water go through, get through the filter, and just kinda cleanse the filter like that. Get that good high quality H2O.